All right, guys, Prince Sports here. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Now, you know, Blake Griffin, one piece of the domino has fell, and it went to the uh, Brooklyn Nets. Now we got Andre Drummond, okay? Andre Drummond has basically said that if he's bought out, he's looking to sign with the Brooklyn Nets. And he said he was going to give the Lakers a look at, okay? Means he's have a small chance of signing with the Lakers. Now, this is a guy that averaged... 17.5 points a game, okay? Prior to him demanding a request to get out of the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now, if the Brooklyn Nets get Andre Drummond, a guy that could drop 17 a game, um, that's damn near borderline close to being an all-star, okay? Um, some guys have made it being an all-star, averaging 17 a game. Draymond Green was an all-star or considered an all-star, which I still to this day don't know why he was an all-star. But he was an all-star and he only averaged about 12 or 11 points in his best season. And My nigga. <laughs> he was in an all-star game and classified as an all-star. So if that could happen, then Andre Drummond is definitely an all-star, okay? Now, they already got Blake Griffin. To me, if the Brooklyn Nets get... Andre Drummond, not only do they have enough help to win the championship, they have too much help. And it's too much help on an offensive end. I don't know what are they doing by keep getting these offensive pieces. This is definitely something that is spells and reeks of Mike D'Antoni, you know, style playing basketball. Just keep giving me more offense, offense, offense. When it's only one basketball. Gotcha, bitch. Um. Blake Griffin, a guy that averaged 12 points a game, he's still another double-digit scorer. And he's going to have so many open lobs, so many open opportunities to score. Um, it's going to be crazy because you're not going to double-team and keep triple-teaming uh, the big three because they're going to leave guys like Blake Griffin and you're going to leave. If you get Andre Drummond, you're going to have those guys open that could definitely score the basketball. Um, what they need is still defense, you know? But... The more help you keep getting, the more help Kevin Durant keeps getting, um, it's just going to put this team over the top. Um, they're damn near ready over the top. And if next season comes, all these guys are 100% healthy, you will have, just look at some of this lineup. Spencer Dinwiddie, James Harden, Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant, Blake Griffin, Andre Drummond, Okay. That's six guys already in double digits, okay? Um, that's a perfectly uh, good roundup. Then you got Joe Harris. You got all these other extra pieces, all these good role players around you to help you win the championship. There's really no more help that you need. Technically, you didn't need that much help to begin with, okay? Keep in mind, to get James Harden, they had to deplete some of their roster. They got rid of three guys, Chris LeVert, um, What's it good? Jared Allen, okay? And, um, well, you can't say they got rid of Spencer Dinwiddie because they still got him. Um, <laughs> so, really, they got rid of two guys. So, correction. You know, um, if there's some other guy missing um, that I'm not thinking of, uh, you guys could probably tell me. But right off the top of the dome, those are just two guys right there that they're missing. Um, but for replacing two guys with one guy means you're going to need another piece, right? Um but they keep getting marquee players that's known. Now, if the Brooklyn Nets land Andre Drummond, this is crazy, okay? I mean, you could start Andre Drummond. A guy that dropped 17 a game should be a starter. Blake Griffin should come off the bench, you know? But that's still a great piece to come off the bench, too, as well. Um, Blake, uh, Andre Drummond being a starting five, he's not that good defensively. He's a good offensive rebounder. Um, but he's a better starter than um, DeAndre Jordan. And DeAndre Jordan could come off the bench. So you will have another starter. And that's that's still a big piece to be getting. Now, the Lakers are doing everything in their power to try to stop <laughs> DeAndre Jordan from signing with the Brooklyn Nets. Okay, They don't even want DeMarcus Cousins, a guy that's on the market. They want to stop Andre Drummond from coming to the Nets. This is what they're trying to do. They want to pursue him to go, go to the Lakers. Now, if you're the Lakers, you're looking desperate. Okay, Not only are you worried about the Brooklyn Nets, but if you claim you had enough pieces to win the championship, you're deeper than the Brooklyn Nets, then why are you trying to get all these extra pieces in terms of the Lakers? You know, it's kind of getting really weird that every guy that's 
linked to being waived or a free agent? Why is he always got to be linked to the Lakers? How many guys do the Lakers need? How many guys do the Brooklyn Nets need? Okay, these guys continuing to try to go after every damn play that's available. It's kind of nuts. You know, it's stupid. You know, you have enough firepower to win. You know, the Lakers got guys in Montrez Harrell. You did upgrade it. Offensively, you did upgrade it. You did get Montrez Harrell. You did get Dennis Truder. Okay, you, yeah, you get Mark Gasol. You could could have passed on him, you know, but do you really need all these guys? Do you do the Brooklyn Nets? Do you really need all these guys? What is going on here? You know, if any dang, let Andre Drummond go to a team like the Knicks or something. You know, we could use that 17 points a game on the Knicks. All right. Why are you going to just reduce your role, go to the Brooklyn Nets? And it's only one basketball. So you're going to have to do something completely different. The Brooklyn Nets and your role on that team will be something completely different. Now, one thing's for sure. If the Brooklyn Nets can't stay healthy, that's a problem because they only played seven games with three of those guys playing. And those seven games weren't back to back like seven games in a row. It's one game here, one game there. It's just all over the place. The Brooklyn Nets have a health issue. They just can't seem to play all their big three. So that big three is useless if you can't play them. It's just good on paper. But if you look at this team on paper, if you look at the Brooklyn Nets on paper, they got more than enough, you know. So the fact that Andre Drummond wants to go there is really putting them over the top. OK, um, I don't care what anybody said. There's no team in the East that could beat them if they're fully healthy. If you beat the Brooklyn Nets, that means you got by some way, somehow you got lucky because they don't have their full roster intact and coming next season. They definitely should be going to the finals. There's no reason big three should be failing. All right? Period. Three guys that you labeled as superstars need to get to the finals and win the championship. There's no excuse. Period. Get the job done. All right? And that's it for Andre Drummond. We got to see where he lands. But if he goes to the Brooklyn Nets, and he already got Andre Drummond, because the Lakers, I mean, um, Blake, Gr Blake Griffin, the Lakers wanted Blake Griffin. You know, they missed out on him. And he just was hell bent on going to the Brooklyn Nets, reuniting with uh, his Lob City partner, uh, DeAndre Jordan. And they're going to have a lot of free dunks and a lot of lobs. They ain't got to do much. You know, Blake Griffin ain't got to do much. You could average that 12 points coming off the bench. And that 12 points would be very useful if it's coming off the bench. You know, think about it. You know, James Harden doing lobs to... Uh, DeAndre Jordan, some of that going to go to Blake Griffin. He ain't got to do much. All these guys that you say was washed up, they always played better when they got on the championship contending team. Uh, Dwight Howard, Carmelo Anthony, and now Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin's only 32 years old, by the way. So he's not done. He'll be great for a championship contending team. Prince Sports out. Peace.